SpaceX creates a monopoly, destroys competition, and is the reason many companies can't catch a break. These are the dramatic claims floating around the aerospace industry. But is there any truth to them? Long answer short, not really. SpaceX's reign is more about NASA's fixed contracts and the occasional stumble of other companies, like Boeing with their Starliner fiasco. And no, it's not just gossip. Elon Musk himself has spilled the beans on why Starliner didn't quite hit the mark. So buckle up and join us as we dive into this topic on today's episode of Great SpaceX. Indeed, when mentioning NASA's fixed contracts, Boeing and Starliner come to mind as the biggest disappointments in recent years. Despite receiving almost double the funding compared to SpaceX in the commercial crew program, Boeing's performance has been less than stellar. Awarded the contract in 2014 and aiming for a 2017 launch, Starliner's first crew flight only took off on June 5th of this year. Those seven years were marked by stagnation and ongoing issues with their vehicles. This not only caused significant delays for both Boeing and NASA, but also led to substantial financial losses. With just one crew flight to date, Starliner's achievements pale in comparison to what SpaceX's Dragon has accomplished. Keep in mind, that mission was a test mission, meaning Starliner has yet to receive launch certification or fulfill any of its CCP contract obligations. They've only a few years left to complete the six required missions. What's more embarrassing, despite a successful launch, Starliner encountered numerous problems during the test mission. To this day, NASA and Boeing have not managed to bring their spacecraft and astronauts back. Many even suggest that NASA should send Dragon to rescue the stranded Starliner astronauts. NASA chose two contractors for the CCP to maintain selection flexibility and avoid monopoly. However, Boeing's shortcomings have undermined NASA's strategy, leaving them reliant on SpaceX and Dragon. This situation is particularly humiliating for Boeing, a giant of last century's aerospace industry. Musk even remarked, the CEO of an aircraft company should know how to design aircraft, not spreadsheets. I strongly believe that all managers in a technical area must be technically excellent, Musk also added. Boeing has been on a gradual decline in this century. Their systems still reflect outdated styles, no longer suitable for present times. True engineers are likely few, while bureaucracy continues to grow. On the contrary, some might think that Elon Musk knows nothing about engineering. However, a look at Everyday Astronauts video shows otherwise, as he smoothly explains everything about Starship. With such a leader, it's clear why SpaceX leads the aerospace industry. This is just one example of why, even without preferential treatment, SpaceX continues to secure valuable contracts. In any field, competition is always crucial. In the aerospace industry, companies compete for markets and launch contracts, which drive economic benefits and enhance their positioning. As the leading aerospace agency, NASA acts as a dealer, creating projects and contracts, then selecting the most suitable contractors. For many years, NASA has focused on fixed contracts, meaning agreements with constant prices. This benefits NASA by simplifying the awarding process and avoiding future complications. With fixed contracts, contractors must deliver everything NASA requires within the agreed price. If they go over budget, those companies bear the additional costs instead of seeking extra funding from NASA. Typical examples of fixed price contracts include the Commercial Crew Program contract, the Artemis contract, and the National Security Space Launch contract, which, although not from NASA, is quite notable. Once awarded, companies must develop their vehicles and adhere to the launch schedules set by the issuing agency. However, this contract type can make competition challenging for companies. With fixed prices, they must manage costs carefully and meet deadlines without seeking additional funding, which can be a significant hurdle. For NASA, while competition is always encouraged, the reality is that they prefer not to waste costs. They need to choose the most reliable vehicle and organization for their missions. 
In this regard, SpaceX stands out as a top contender, known for its high reliability and frequent successful launches. This is why SpaceX has secured numerous significant contracts that other companies covet. Beyond the major commercial crew program and Artemis contracts, SpaceX has recently won several notable agreements. For instance, they secured the ISSD orbit contract worth 843 million US dollars, a satellite launch contract from NASA and NOAA valued at 112.7 million, a rescue space mission research contract worth 267,000, and the USSF's NSSL phase three contract totaling up to 5.6 billion US dollars. From contracts worth just a few hundred thousand to multi-million and even billion dollar deals, SpaceX consistently demonstrates its dominance. While large contracts might be expected from such a leading company, even the smaller contracts reflect significant progress for SpaceX. For smaller companies, securing these contracts would be a major breakthrough. Despite this, many companies criticize SpaceX. However, they fail to recognize that this situation stems from their own weaknesses and diminishing competitiveness. But before we get into all of that, make sure you leave a like, share the video, and subscribe to our channel to keep up with SpaceX's development journey. You know, small companies often face significant financial challenges. A notable example is Astra Space which experienced a severe crisis after multiple failures and was eventually forced to shift to the private sector. Another case is Sierra Space. Despite their promising Dream Chaser project, they have yet to deploy it. There are likely many other companies in similar situations. In reality, these companies still have opportunities, but they often fall short. This is evident in the NSSL contract. Initially, phase three of the contract running from 2025 to 2029 was planned to include two lanes. Lane two was designated for high demand tasks suited for large companies like SpaceX or ULA, while lane one was intended for smaller companies with simpler requirements. However, the recent announcement for lane one revealed that the contract was awarded to SpaceX, ULA, and Blue Origin. The reason? no launch service provider was able to meet the requirements for lane one. This highlights a gap in capabilities rather than a lack of opportunity. For major companies, their performance often fails to match their potential and the opportunities they receive. This is evident not just with Boeing, as discussed earlier, but also with current giants like Blue Origin and ULA who face significant challenges. Blue Origin, for example, has yet to launch any vehicle into orbit, leaving them at a disadvantage compared to SpaceX. Recall that in 2021, when SpaceX was awarded the Artemis contract, Blue Origin sued NASA, alleging favoritism. However, their lawsuit overlooked the fact that their lack of progress was the real reason they were not selected. Meanwhile, ULA, known for its iconic rockets like Atlas and Delta, has struggled to keep pace with newer models such as Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy. Their latest rocket, the Vulcan, faced significant delays and only completed its first launch mission this year. As a result, ULA has lost its primary market for launching government payloads to SpaceX. In contrast to others, SpaceX consistently demonstrates exceptional reliability. With the Falcon rocket system, SpaceX has conducted over 360 launches, boasting a high success rate. Among these, Falcon 9 has become the most frequently launched vehicle in recent years. Additionally, these rockets are capable of landing and being reused, a feat few organizations can achieve. This capability significantly reduces development and launch costs, creating formidable competition in the industry. Following the Falcon generation, SpaceX is now focused on developing Starship, a rocket with unparalleled capacity and potential, and notably, it can be fully reused. Musk envisions a future where Starship launches cost as little as 2 million US dollars, a strikingly low figure. This positions SpaceX with a significant edge in any competitive landscape. With a more reliable and cost-effective vehicle, it's clear why NASA and other companies have little reason to overlook SpaceX. In summary, the US aerospace industry is grappling with the unfortunate reality of declining competition. However, it's important to note that this situation is not directly attributable to SpaceX. 
the current companies are simply struggling and failing to showcase their capabilities. Instead of criticizing SpaceX, these companies should focus on reforming and enhancing their own systems. As for SpaceX, they should simply keep doing what they're doing. Their success is a direct result of their own capabilities, so there's no need for concern. They will maintain their leading position and continue to be the US's flagship in global competition. If you agree with this perspective, please respond with yes in the comment section down below. Otherwise, folks, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. And as always, this has been Kevin from Great SpaceX. Until next time, keep looking up.